Modern Shipping Container House Plans, Lift Box 480. Hello and welcome to this week's video. This video brings to you Lift Box 480. This is a modern shipping container house designed using 120 and 140 foot shipping containers respectively, to create a 480 square feet residence. This video covers a detailed description on the foundation, interior design, exterior finishes, roofing details, and landscaping ideas for you to try out. Watch to the end for the link to download dimensioned floor plans and a cost estimates checklist to guide you on your container house project. Enjoy and be inspired. We post weekly videos featuring custom designs and reviews of shipping container homes from around the world. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our inspiring weekly videos on shipping container houses. Stay tuned for a few inspiring minutes of good home design. The structure. This two bedroom 480 plus square foot abode is made from 120 foot and 40 foot high cube containers stacked on top of one another respectively. High cube containers were preferred because they provide you with an extra foot of ceiling height. This creates enough headroom for ceiling insulation without compromising the headroom of the habitable space. This house is ideal for an average sized family, good for a holiday retreat be fitting to get listed on Airbnb as guest house to earn yourself some extra income. The 40-foot container on the lower level houses a children's bedroom, fully fitted kitchen a bathroom and a lounge space. On top, the 20-foot container is stylish bedroom with a full bathroom. This is a deliberate design decision to allow the unit to be used as a master bedroom by the family or listed out as a guest room on Airbnb without interfering with other family activities. The remaining half of the roof is used as outdoor terrace ideal for family parties. Foundation and Modifications The containers sit on a reinforced concrete pier foundation to elevate them from moisture. For a storied container house like this one, it's advisable to consult a structural engineer on the size and the load-bearing capacity of the foundation piers to use. This light foundation permits continuous airflow to keep the container cool and enable plumbing with ease. Piers of steel, concrete blocks, stone or treated wooden poles can be used as alternative foundations. Shipping container modules are designed to be stacked at the corners. Loading them at any other position or cutting out too much steel from the walls for doors and windows interferes with the structural integrity and strength of shipping containers. In our design, the 20-foot container is stacked midway the 40-foot one, in addition a large 3 meters wide by 2.1 meters high folding door in the container wall introduces weak points calling for further reinforcement with steel beams at the center. An operational rule of thumb in all our designs is that, we do not cut out the roof and the floor of our container house designs. It is very costly to restore the roof and the floor as compared with bracing and reinforcing wall and door cutouts. This design retains the original container access doors on the lower container to create a suspended Juliet balcony with a glass balustrade to create that feel of lightness. On the upper level, the original container doors act as the main access door from the roof terrace. When using a one-way container, as a sustainable design statement, we suggest leaving the exterior of the shipping container as is, including its original color and markings. This will help to preserve its charm with its history in addition help to reduce cost painting the exterior. Depending on location, budget, climate and local planning regulations. Other exterior finishes such as stucco, timber cladding, and cement board plaster can be explored. Outdoor Living Space Apart from the drainage and moisture benefits, the elevated position of the house provides the height necessary to construct a deck. A 2.5 meter wide deck almost as wide as the container itself is preferred. The length can be as per the client's discretion. Due to the limited space inside a container, space-saving design ideas are highly preferred. All the end panel doors are fitted with full height sliding glass doors. 
Sliding and folding doors are good space savers and ideal to use in a container house. A deck is a quick and easy way to add extra living space to a container home by greatly extending outdoors the compact living space inside a shipping container. A full height 3 meter wide folding door is provided to access the front deck with maximum daylighting connecting the living room to the surrounding landscape. An extended roof terrace overhangs part of the deck, guarding the deck access from rain and direct sunlight. Wall lights brackets are welded onto the container for security lighting in addition to overhead lights, to illuminate the deck and the roof terrace at night. The 20-foot cabin and the roof terrace are accessed with a lightweight steel stairs made from recycled container cuttings mounted on a steel frame and welded onto the wall of the lower container. The top of the treads is covered with checkered steel plate. The staircase is screened off with a simple trellis softened with native vines and climbers, to further insulate the container from direct heat gain. Native plants should be used to enhance sustainability. Furniture Design Ideas Fitting furniture into a shipping container home can be a challenge because most furniture hasn't been designed specifically for such small spaces. Furniture choices for container homes should be made with space saving in mind. Multifunctional transforming furniture and other space saving essentials effortlessly transform from one use to another, allowing a single space to perform more than one function. To complement the industrial look of the container, we adopted a minimalist design to make the narrow space feel somewhat spacious. This design uses a vertical queen size wall in bed for the upper 20 foot unit, and a sofa bed in the living space below. This allows the space to serve both as a living area and as a sleeping area. The transition from day space to night zone is quick and simple. Consider exploring other space saving furniture ideas such as drop leaf table, bunk beds, and wall mounted fold desk among others, in your DIY container project. Consider using flat pack cabinets for the kitchen. Flat pack cabinets are good alternatives for the kitchen and wardrobe rather than custom units. Flat packs can be creatively used for storage and space dividers. Insulation and temperature control. Steel is a good conductor of heat, therefore, to live in a shipping container you need to insulate and line the interior. Insulation is one of the most important aspects of turning a container into a comfortable home. Without it, the building would be like an oven in summer and freezing in winter. Insulation is also essential to preventing condensation, which can corrode the container and form mold. Spray foam insulation is the best to use under normal conditions because of the advantages that come with it. Other types of insulation such as, insulation panels, earth wool blanket insulation, lightweight concrete plaster, planted roof garden and recycled eco-friendly materials like cold newspapers, and tetra pack packaging offer alternatives to use. To the left of the staircase, a high-level cantilevered balcony to the guest room above is used to shade the main entrance below from direct elements. The deck and the roof terrace are not covered to help maximize on outdoor living. A parasol with seating can be used during summer to cut off excess heat. The upper container is covered with an elevated corrugated steel roof to guard it from rain and direct sunlight. The corrugated steel roof is elevated above the container roof to allow for airflow to keep the container interior cool in summer. Since a shipping container roof doesn't have eaves, all fenestrations should be adequately protected from direct weather elements. Interior finishes. To minimize the claustrophobic feel of living in a container, the walls of the main living area is finished with light colored paint. Alternatively, both the walls and floor can be lined with finishes made from eco-friendly materials like plywood from bamboo. Since this is a container house, consider using similar materials to finish the kitchen and the bathroom in order to maintain that industrial feel to keep the cabin bright and marry the finishes theme through. In the bathroom, High gloss acrylic panels are used to line the bathroom walls. The floor is finished in non-slip ceramic tiles. A similar gloss panel is used to finish the kitchen backsplash wall. 
This repetitive use of materials makes for a cohesive design that unifies the space making it appear bigger. The Cost Estimates Checklist This Cost Estimates Checklist is to guide you on the items to consider in your own container project. The prices of the items are subject to vary depending on your country, currency exchange rates, taxes and government regulations. For correct and factual figures, consult the relevant experts in your county. What do you feel about our new house design? If you have any question, feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you intend to start small, you can check out our Starter Homes designs for Ecobox 160 and Ecobox 320, each build from a single 20-foot and 40-foot shipping containers respectively. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container homes. You can download all the plans from our website on the link in the description. See you in the next video.